I set a goal that nobody knew about and I'm failing at it. I failed. I actually just, yeah, it's just, it's weird. Hmm. How do I tell the story and still encourage people? Okay. That's the trick here because I set a goal and I'm failing at it. I've, I've just failed. So the, the recent, um, sort of project that I've been doing was trying to run 10 kilometers, uh, twice a day for 10 days. All right. So here we go. It is run two, day one. So day two. So day two. Damn it. Only day two. It's uh, five in the morning. This is run seven. So day four, run one. And I mean, just straight off the bat, it, it was not easy. I didn't expect it to be easy, but man, was it not easy. And then, uh, it's day four. I, I kind of just about got through it. I didn't really get through it because I didn't finish the, the double 10 on that day. Walked about four and a half kilometers the evening instead of running 10. And then just got back home and I just crashed. I, you know, I went to bed early uh, and I just slept. Full intention to wake up the next morning, go for another run. But I woke up in the middle of the night feeling absolutely horrible. My body was going through, I don't know what kind of pain I was feeling. And um, I think I realized that I actually got ill. Maybe it's because I was just exerting myself a little bit too much. My body was not used to it. Uh, maybe it's because it's early morning and late nights and I'm doing my runs and pretty sweaty and my clothes are getting wet and I'm out there running and it's cold. Or maybe it's just a, a, a man low and I've got young kids and they forever have snotty noses and so maybe that's the reason why I got ill. But I made the decision today to put pause on this project. The 10K twice a day for 10 days. I did do 70 kilometers. I had 70 successful runs. And um, I mean, that's in itself is something to be like, yeah, wow. I mean, I've never done that before. Just in, in four days and run 70 kilometers. That for me is a first. So I'll take that. I'll take that win. Let's just have a look at the, the stats quickly. As you can see, uh, I started on the, on the 23rd of July. Is when I started this challenge. I did nine and eleven that same day. The twenty fourth, I did nine point five and ten point two. It's kind of off here a little bit. Uh, the twenty fourth, I did five point eight and then fourteen point one. Kind of made up for that. So those are the days three. And then yesterday I did nine point three. Actually, thought I did ten. Quite honestly, and then the evening I walked. Uh, I'll tell you that the, the run yesterday, uh, the 9.32 run, I really thought that, like, it, it was tough just of the finishing the, the run the previous evening of 14 days. I mean, that was, that was very tough. So I felt that, look, the daily requirement is to do, uh, 20 kilometers, you know, broken up over two runs. So, I can sort of flex, you know, the here and there. And, and sometimes when I'm, I'm out, I, especially in the mornings, I need to get my kids ready for school. And so I must be back at 6 a.m. I don't know why this was a thing. I, I, this, this challenge in itself, for me, felt exciting. Like this felt like, you know, when I... When I first sort of doing this thing, it was because I'd been, I, I know the uh, friend of mine, Gavin, and Gavin is an elite athlete. At least he is in my books. When I saw what his run schedule looks like, it was insane. I thought, well, I'm going to try and take like a small page out of his book and try and do that. And I thought, well, I'm going to, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try and push to, to do double runs. I also have some other goals. So running more than once a day is in line with those goals, which it's probably about a year away. And I'm also training for a 50 kilometer run that I want to do uh, in the end of September. So there's a couple of things that all sort of culminated and I thought, well, cool, let me try and run 10 k's a day. And the moment I did that, I was like, okay, cool. But 
why not do the double round because you know that this thing that you want to do later on in like a year or so like you're going to have to run twice a day at least to cover more ground because trying to do all of the distance in one day it's probably going to be too much on the body and give your body a little bit of time to rest <laughs> so anyways so all the stuff and i was like yeah let's do two runs in a day and as i thought that my mind went no you can't and immediately something inside of me says how yes you can so to be here today and admitting defeat but this isn't actually defeat this is just like i think sensible you know i'm ill like don't do it like it's not just a runny nose like it's it feels quite like weird my head is really sore and my um my my palate is dry and my my my, my nose feels blocked but not like normal blocked it's weird so I'm just going like, okay, cool. Let me just do the sensible thing and just hang back here and see what my body's trying to tell me. And then I can always kickstart this project again. There's nothing that says I can't tackle this later. There's nothing that says that just because I, I didn't complete it this time doesn't mean I won't complete it next time. And there's also nothing wrong with me acknowledging that, man, you just ran 70 kilometers in four and a half days, like in four days, 70 kilometers plus a walk <laughs> of four kilometers that's pretty good that is actually pretty good you know so i learned that in preparing for nasna forest marathon where i had underrated or maybe not underrated but i didn't actually acknowledge the distance that i had covered the training that i was doing in such a short time it was so intense at least for me it, it was like it was and then to to write it off and, and not acknowledge it is silly. So <laughs> I gave it some acknowledgement this time and I was like, okay, yeah, no, I did. I ran 70 odd kilometers in a very short period of time, a few days. And there's nothing that says I can't tackle that again in a week or two, you know, when I'm feeling a bit better. So, so yeah, the initial feeling here is one of disappointment, but um, it's not gone. You know, the opportunity isn't gone to do this challenge. Plus, I met crazy people along the way on the road like this. These two guys. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's go, champ. Feel that energy. Love let's it. go, champ. Oh, yeah. Let's go, champ. Yes. <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, this is madness. And uh, it was so much fun just to be in the in the prisons for that short period of time. So, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, if you feel like you know you've tried something and it hasn't worked out, like I, I wanted to, like this, I've tried this and it didn't quite work out. But it doesn't mean that it's over forever. It means that I can reset and I can try again. I will try again. And maybe this will. You'll never see this video. Maybe I, I share it. Just as it is, and you, you get a bit of an understanding of what it's like, you know. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that message with you that we don't have to always like get it done. Even though we don't have to put ourselves down just because we didn't get it done, we don't have to uh, berate ourselves because we didn't hit a certain milestone. There are other milestones within that goal that we're still hitting. And it doesn't mean that just because you didn't do it now that you can't do it later. You can't, like, you can always reset and you can retry, you know? So there's always that. So I want you to know that even if you feel like you've put pop and you, oh, you couldn't today, like, that's fine. Rest. Give yourself another chance. Come back tomorrow. And try again. Right. Hope this was useful. My name's Richard. And remember, <laughs> this has been Richard Talks. Yeah.